An ordinary billiard saloon, you might think. A sort of place where such legendary characters as Minnesota Fats would pass the improving hour and feel quite at home surrounded by the glowering portraits of other heroes. But at the Golden Q in Melbourne, there is a difference. Some of the regulars cast an unfamiliar shadow. For a couple of months, the patrons of the Golden Q have included a growing number of girls. Most of them were introduced to the billiard table by their men friends, but they seem to have found an independent enthusiasm of their own. Some of them devote their weekends and lunch hours, and there's even talk of the formation of a ladies' snooker league. What's the attraction, do you think? What, what do you find so attractive? Well, it used to be used to man's game, but now, you know, it's interesting, sort of, something else to do sort of thing. Is you know? this another occasion of women invading the world of men? A sort of feminist move, is it? Oh, in a vague way, not. Oh, yeah. Would you look forward to the time when you'll be able to take a good player, a good man player, on at this game and beat him thoroughly? Yes, I would. <laughs> How's your game progressing? Oh, it's a bit slow. How long have you been playing for? About five months. Well, how did you get into the game in the first place? Uh, my boyfriend. You came along here with him one evening? Mm -hmm. Did he suggest you play? Yes, he showed me. He tried to. What's the attraction in for girls, though? I don't know. It's a good game. A lot of fun. Oh, not bad. And then he got there. Oh, well, you try and beat the fellas, and if you beat them, it's good. Do they get upset if you beat them? Of course they do. What do they do about it? Oh, they just fume. If the girls never achieve international honours, it shouldn't be for lack of coaching. Tom Collins, joint proprietor of the Golden Q, is anxious to see they do well. In fact, it's his proud boast that this is the first billiard saloon in Victoria to admit women players. Mostly they come from the discotheques. Um, uh, pretty late at night, you know, after the discotheques or before the discotheques, have a bit of supper and have a gum of pool. But um, we've got a lot of married couples coming in, and the weekends we get uh, a couple of elderly couples coming in, you know, and have a game with their, with their sons. One, one uh, woman brings her, two of her kids in, you know, and they, to make a real family affair. So really, um, the billiard saloons are losing perhaps some of the uh, old stigma they had in the past as dens of vice and crime. Well, certainly, certainly, Bob, I'd say so. It's, uh, you, it's you're catering for the family now, is that Well, it? it's become a family sport, and, uh, and uh, we're catering for, for all the family. The old um, impression it gave, you know, about, the, as you said, dens of vice and crime, it's not like that at all now. We've got... Um, Really, it's a really good place, you know. Do you think you're going to have to change the decor at all, though? You've got these photographs of boxes all around the walls. You've got rather sort of practical curtains, nothing particularly um, Yes, well, we, we haven't got uh, right into it yet, you know. That it's, but they seem to enjoy it. They, they, like, they like the atmosphere here, you know. We, if you, I don't think we could um, change it too much, you know, make it too much for the, for the women, because we've got a lot of... Uh, uh, good uh, gentleman customers too, you know. But the, Do any of these good gentleman customers ever complain about this oh, invasion? Oh no, no, no they, they quite enjoy it. It changes the atmosphere altogether, you know. They don't think it's another feminist plot to take over an exclusively male preserve? Well, I haven't heard any complaints. They seem to enjoy it, you know. If there are traditionists who feel that women have no place in a billiard saloon, they've not said anything yet. Of course, it could be argued that the mere presence of women inhibits their ability to say anything in any case. <laughs>